Hey everyone, Mr. Messia here. This is a lap guide for round one of the 2024 Manufacturers Cup taking place at Nürburgring 24 hour. And for this season, I'm gonna stick with Porsche. We're on the racing medium tires with brake balance adjustable. And one thing I want to note is that there is a mandatory pit stop. And because Nürburgring has a chance of rain, this is a good time to get the racing intermediate and wet tires just in case it rains in this race. But anyways, I have the brake balance at minus one or one click to the front of the car. And as you get started with the lap, you want to bring yourself towards the left side of the track. You're gonna brake just after the 150 meter board, just before the path on the left end. So you're gonna brake right about now. Full braking power, going down to first gear, and you want to be really careful getting back on the throttle as this car will generate quite a bit of wheel spin so just be nice and careful getting back on the throttle as you exit the first corners. The end of the path on the right is your next braking point and stay towards the left side of the track making your way down to first gear for more rotation but exit on the second gear and just be nice and careful getting back on the throttle. When the curb on the left starts, that is where you start to brake and you want to try to stick towards the right side of the track. Go down to first gear for more rotation. Back up to second gear as you exit the hairpin. For the S's, you will need to do a little lifting off our throttle. I think some cars can take a flat out, so it depends on the car that you're in. Bring this up towards the right, brake before the 100 meter board. And you want to bring this up towards the left for this next turn coming up brake a bit early for this turn a little bit of braking power just trying to adjust the car's rotation as you go through that turn you just be nice and careful getting back on the throttle now this cane that's coming up is less sharp than the GP version so you're braking at around the 75 meter mark and take advantage of the red and white curves you're still within track limits brake nice and early for this turn and be really careful getting back on the throttle as this part's really bumpy now you're at the Nordschleife section, so this is where things get a little bumpy, and this is where you want to be even more careful with your actions. So a little lifting off our throttle for this turn, and you do want to brake nice and early for these series of turns right now. That's where you start to brake. Quite a bit of trail braking that you'll need to do, and just being really careful with your throttle input. A little bit of braking right there, slowing yourself down for this left turn. And a bit more for this right turn and you want to be careful getting back on the throttle because it's really easy to mess it up and end up in the wall and that's gonna really hurt your run especially if you're in gt1 as heavy damage is on which means damage will remain on your car until you pit but anyways fluke plots lifting off the throttle for that turn but try to maintain as much momentum as possible now for this left turn that is eventually coming up, you want to do a little lifting off a throttle. So right around here, lift off a throttle, brake before the curb on the left ends. Really easy to overshoot it because that's that's actually what I do right here. And yeah, you don't want to you don't want to brake too late, especially if you're under someone's slipstream. If you're under someone's slipstream, you want to brake a little bit earlier as you'll be carrying even more speed. Now you're going to look for a sign on the right as you can use that as your braking and turning point. And you do want to start slowing down pretty early to stay along the edges of the track. Even going down to first gear for more rotation, but excellent second gear. Nice and careful getting back on the throttle. You're just trying to be really smooth through that area because if you start to mess up, you do risk losing quite a bit of time. A little bit of braking power right here and then brake when you go over the riding that's on the ground going on to second gear for more rotation look for the signs on the left that is your next braking point and be careful about getting on the curves because depending on the car that you're in that can really unsettle the car the porsche is kind of one of those cars you do want to brake pretty early for this turn really easy to overshoot it and end up in the wall brake when the dirt on the left starts braking pretty early for these series of turns Going on to first gear for more rotation, back up to second gear as you exit those series of turns, then brake before the curb on the right end. So you are braking a little early for this turn, uh, try not to get onto those curves, brake before the curb on the left ends, and 
you do want to get on the throttle as early as possible. Now this one's a little tricky because you want to look for a, a Yokohama sign that is on the right. You want to brake before that sign as you want to make sure that you hit the apex of this turn. It's really easy to overshoot that turn so you want to get the braking point nailed down as it leads to this, I'm going to, I'm going to say it's a straightaway as you are carrying quite a bit of speed and these turns, yeah, you don't need to slow down for these turns, these are, it's all flat out. Uh, in the Porsche, you are going to stay on 5th gear. Now for Bravery Corner that's coming up, which is a high speed left corner. Here I was able to get away with lifting off our throttle, didn't need to use the brakes. Uh, you do want to be careful about this turn though, because it can be taken for out, but yeah, don't, don't let it catch you off guard. But anyways, brake before the curb on the left starts. And be really careful you're getting back on the throttle. Break after you pass the happy little tree that is on the left right here. And you can carry quite a bit of speed through the carousel, being careful with your throttle input. And as soon as the car is pointing towards the next section of the track, that's where you can fully accelerate your way out. Uh, look for the curb on the right as that is your next braking and turning point. And just being really careful with through here. It's really easy to hit these curves and that can really unsettle the car. The Porsche being one of them, so again, you want to be really careful with that. Lift off our throttle, a little bit of braking right here. You're just trying to straight line us through here. Avoid the grass on the left. I got really lucky right here. And you do want to slow down a little bit more for that right turn. Brake before the Yokohama sign on the right. Brake before the curb on the left ends. And then once again, brake before the curb on the left ends. And here you can uh, stay in second gear for a little bit longer. Here you do want to brake pretty early. Do note how early I brake and actually miss the apex. So you need to brake even earlier than what I started to brake. Now there's this little jump right here. Brake just before you do that jump. And a little bit of throttle control, especially for this turn right here. A little easy to understeer into the wall. So just be careful about that. Now here you can go flat out. Again, just be careful about the curves. And just after you pass the path that is on the right, that is where you start to break and bring yourself towards the right. Break before the curb on the right ends, trying to maintain that speed. Break pretty early for the mini carousel and just being really careful with your throttle input. It's pretty easy to get aggressive and end up losing control. Uh, break before the curb on the left ends. Again, just trying to maintain that speed, especially for the back street or the final back street as well it's a really long back straight so this will probably be the place for you to get your overtakes done and you do have to be a little careful here because if you're under someone slipstream you are going to be going a bit faster so you will need to brake a little bit earlier if you are under someone slipstream and eventually the tarmac does narrow it down a bit so it does get a little risky if you try to go too wide uh, through the end of this back straight, so do be careful about that. But anyways, brake when the curb on the right ends, which is right here. Doing a little bit of braking control or trail braking, nice and careful getting back on the throttle. And that is it for this lap. And yeah, it's a really hard lap to nail down, especially with so little time. But if you do decide to do this race, good luck. And I'm going to go for now, but the bumper cam view will be right here. That will be played until the end of the video. So take care, everyone. Good luck in this race. This is Mr. MCA, and I'll see you in the next video.